buddy. It is Drew. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. We are back today to do a vintage baseball auction. We ran another vintage baseball auction similar to this, uh, maybe about two weeks ago. Uh, had a lot of success with it. Had a lot of people who, uh, you know, say they had a lot of fun. And I've got a pl uh, plenty more vintage uh, here to go. So I said, hey, let's run it back. Let's do another vintage sale. Thanks so much for tuning in, spending your Thursday, um, uh, your Thursday afternoon with me. Um, we've got a lot of really great stuff here today. If you're watching on desktop, you got the full view. If you're watching on mobile, that's great. Uh, if you rotate, you'll get some of the little sampling of what's to come. Uh, we've got a great Babe Ruth here. We've got some stuff that's more than 100 years old here. I've got uh, an Everett Scott hand cut card from 1919. Hank, Aaron, Nolan Ryan, all the names that you know and love, uh, it's going to be a blast. If this is your first time on Drip, thank you so much for checking it out. You can think of Drip sort of like uh, QVC meets baseball cards. Um, what's going to happen here, I'm going to run a sample auction for one of our you know lower kind of value uh, lots here uh, in just a second. So you can get a, a sense of how the auction format works, how all of this goes. Um, and, uh, so you'll, you'll, you'll get a taste and then we're going to run right through it. I think we've got about 30 auctions. Each of these things, uh, will be auctioned off starting at $1, no reserve, no tricks, no fine print, no nothing. We're running a, a, a $1, no reserve auction. Each auction is going to take 30 to 60 seconds. So it happens quick. It's a fast paced thing. Um, uh, you'll get the hang of it. You'll, you'll see how this works. Um, all cards ship free and all orders uh, include sales tax. So um, when you're placing that $10 bid, $15 bid, know that that is your all in price. You don't have to add anything. And the other thing I've got to uh, share with you here before we hit the top of the hour is that there's an authenticity guarantee here. If you buy a, a raw card and you run off and you get it graded, uh, and they come back and they say anything other than you're good. If they say it's altered, if they say they can't confirm the authenticity, if they say, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> um, uh, just come back here. I will issue you a full refund. We'll take the card back. No problem at all. Most of these cards come from a really awesome consignment that uh, was shared uh, with me, uh, a person who uh, reached out online. Uh, I, you know, great collection from the, uh, 60s and 70s uh, took a look at it uh, sniffed around said heck yeah I can work with this some of this comes from my you know personal buying and selling but uh, yeah we've got a lot of really fun stuff stuff that's been very well maintained these things have been you know in climate controlled uh, environments and all that kind of thing so really um, very 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 nice uh, cards here like I said thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. We got people coming in here now that we're at the top of the hour. I'm just going to run through the rules and all that kind of stuff again really quick. Um, but first, actually, let's, um, while I'm doing that, let's just run our sam first sample auction so that you get a sense of how this is going to go. Um, this is, this first lot is a little 90s lot. Like I said, kind of a lower value lot in general, just to get a sense of how uh, the auction process works. Now, this is a lot of 90s cards. There's some good stuff in here. Bernie Williams, rookie card. you got a Jay Buhner, all-star uh, rookie. Uh, Randy Johnson, rookie card. Uh, so you'll see there the timers there on the right-hand part of your screen. Um, there's another Randy Johnson, Sammy Sosa rookie. Um, and you can see the buttons there. So you press, you know, you can enter a custom bid or you can press, you know, plus 50 cents. Edgar Martinez. Here's a nice classic confrontations. Mike Piazza. So this is a lot of seven uh, 90s uh, rookie cards. And this is how it goes, just so you get a sense of how that auction goes. And Tom, Tom wins that 90s lot. Congrats, Tom. That's just a fun lot to have. I love the, the old Randy Johnsons and things like that. Um, we've got a Frank Thomas auto that we're going to bring up next. Um, but first, just want to kind of reset now that we've hit the top of the hour. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, we're doing a vintage baseball auction today. Everything's going to be a $1, no reserve, no BS auction. There's no fine print there. 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, the price uh, includes shipping, includes sales tax. I am offering an authenticity guarantee. I guarantee these are authentic uh, or your money back. 
And uh, what else is there to say? I don't know. Let's have some fun. We've got some really cool stuff here. If you've got the full screen mode going, um, uh, Babe Ruth, Everett Scott, Hank Aaron, Nolan Ryan, some really great stuff. Uh, Tom, your package, I just personally dropped off about 30 minutes ago. You should see that scan any minute now. Uh, so uh, let me know if you have any trouble. Dropped off a lot of packages, so sometimes they take their time. But um, all right, here we go. We've got a 1990 Tops 414, a beautiful Frank Thomas card that I love. Uh, autographed by Frank Thomas at one of our private signings uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and so here we go. Frank Thomas, 1990 414, number one draft pick, hand autographed by Frank Thomas uh, himself. Uh, Dave's a first timer, so you're getting a sense of how this works. You see this uh, the timer up there? Quick auctions, 30 seconds, sometimes 60 seconds. Um, you can go ahead and place a bid there uh, with the buttons on the side. And... Um, Really kind of simple, straightforward stuff. I'm going to have a lot of these packed up and sorted today. I'll probably hold off until after the holiday uh, to ship them out just so you don't get mixed up in the uh, in the Christmas crush. Uh, but we'll probably have these dropped off on Saturday. And um, uh, it'll be, you know, USPS first class. So give it two or three days. It'll get to you. Uh, Cube Vic, also first timer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stoked to have you. Um, a thing that I love about drip auctions, uh, since we have a couple of first timers in here, um, there is a, a snipe protection. So you'll notice if the timer gets all the way down to one second and somebody enters a bid, uh, it adds some time to the clock. So you're not going to have to deal with that very frustrating situation of uh, getting sniped that we've all had on eBay. Just not going to happen here. Not going to happen here. What's up, Con Jelly? I just packed up uh, your box uh, from last night. Everything, if you if you were part of our nomination auction, which is all modern cards last night, uh, everything's already shipped. Everything's already shipped, unless you told me to hold it because you're going to be out of town for the holidays or whatever. Um, everything is now shipped, and your tracking should uh, should reflect that. So uh, be on the lookout. Should arrive there just after uh, just after Christmas. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I love these midday uh, deals. I love them. I love them. I love them. If you're down for uh, hearing some more of my voice and running some more auctions later today, we're doing a football thing. We partnered with Terrell Owens. He's going to, he gave me a bunch of um, Nathan. If you hit refresh, it should fix it. I'm seeing the video. Dave, no problem sh uh, shipping to Canada and you don't even have to pay extra. Just um, uh, as Tom brings home that Frank Thomas, congrats, Tom. Um, just, uh, they may limit you from entering a Canadian address, enter an American address, and then, um, let me know. And I will go ahead and change into the back end. So enter like your favorite team's ballpark address or something. And I uh, will do that. Okay. Um, this lot is a, a Hank, uh, as, as, is a Aaron family lot here. We've got two Hank Aaron cards. These are 1972 beautiful cards. I believe comp around $40 a piece. So you got two of them. Um, really strong edges and corners, especially for being as, uh, as old as they are. No offense to anybody from born in 1972, but these things have been around for a little while. And then you've got a 19, since 1970, 1970, Tommy Aaron, brother of Hank Aaron. So you've got two Hank Aaron and a Tommy Aaron right there in a lot. And the auction is off to a great start already. So that's going, and I'm going to move some Reggie Jackson raw cards on deck. We've got one more raw lot after that, and then we get into some slabs. Um, lots of fun stuff uh, uh, coming up. I interrupted myself. What the heck was I talking about before? Oh, um, football. Yeah, it's 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Um, we're doing a football thing. We're doing a pick-your-team auction uh, of the Donruss uh, Optic Hobby Box. Um, we're also giving away a bunch of stuff that Terrell Owens gave me. Uh, some signed jerseys from teams he played for, some signed rookie cards. We're giving away a bunch of Terrell Owens stuff, so that's going to be a ton of fun. What else is going on? Um, and uh, I also have some vintage. I have some cool vintage football. I've got some like uh, stuff from the 70s, Dick Butkus, uh, Gail Sayers. Uh, I even have some more more modern, but still, you know, they're 20 years old now. I've got a cool Tom Brady auto, um, that kind of stuff. So we've got a, a really fun football thing going tonight. My first football uh, auction. As it looks like Jordan brings home the Aaron family. Welcome 
to the action. Jordan, congrats on that. Okay, Reggie Jackson lot is coming up next. We're burning. We're doing, we're doing some good work here. This is a 1976 uh, in the classic, that A's color. I love that. This one is a 1974. Again, A's unis from the 70s. Love it. And then here's his rookie. Here's his rookie. It's so funny seeing Reggie Jackson with no hair. Um, in pretty good, in pretty good shape. If I had to say, I'd say this would grade probably a four or so. Um, so you've got the Reggie Jackson rookie, and then a couple of mid-career ones that are just great looking cards. I love the designs, I <laughs> love everything about it. Um, so there we go. That is the live auction. Reggie Jackson rookie goes for a pretty penny, I think. Uh, I haven't run comps on this in a minute. I'm going to try and do it while the auction's going. But um, this is a this is a pretty nice card. We've got another version of it coming up later in a slab. Um, yeah, buy it now is right now on eBay. Are 165, 280 bucks. I don't know. There's an auction right now at 82. Where's my sold to actually run a comp here? Uh, so we're at 10 bucks. That's a pretty, pretty steep discount. I'm all about giving out deals. Um, that might be, that might be pretty aggressive. Um, yeah. A, a Reggie Jackson just sold um, yesterday for 70 bucks raw. Um, just to give you an idea. Slab to authentic 130. Yeah. Let's call it a hundred dollars on the comp for this rookie card here. And then of course you get these two bonus cards, these mid career cards that are just sweet. I love this one with the sunglasses and the hair and everything and the uniform, same deal here. Wearing sunglasses. G. what's on deck? We got some Tom Seaver coming out. My guy, Tom, my guy, Tom, the Mets, uh, Mets fan in the chat, but then also Tom Seaver, Tom, terrific couple terrific Toms. Um, and later, like I said, we've got a lot of really fun stuff. Um, we've got, uh, um, we've got some hundred year old cards, uh, going, we've got, uh, Everett Scott here is on display. You can see that if you're on desktop, uh, we've also got a couple of others. Um, we've got a Babe Ruth. We've got Hank Aaron, Nolan Ryan. We've got a lot of stuff, lots and lots and lots of stuff. Chat's a little quiet today. What's going on with the chat? Everyone's working and watching this in the background or what's the, what's the deal? People off yet uh, for the holiday? People uh, working today? What's going on? I've been full time on cards, and so uh, kind of forget, kind of forget how that all works. <laughs> uh, kind of forget. Working from home. Love to hear it, Nathan. I hope the video got working for you. Um, we also have later in the show something really cool. I was not aware of. I'm not the biggest vintage guy in the world. Last workday of the year. Heck yeah. I love it. Love it. Um, these 1971 coins all featuring different guys. We've got a lot of 30 of them. Um, we'll go through that in a, in a minute. But if you're if you're into this vintage stuff, this is pretty cool. Here's, here's one that's on top of the pile. This is a Carl Yastrzemski. Pretty cool. So we got a lot of cool vintage stuff to go through here today. As Con Jelly brings home the Reggie Lot. Congrats. Congrats, John. Um, okay, Tom Seaver's up. <laughs> Matt, what is work? What is off work, right? Not what is work. Jeez, farmers don't know. Yeah, similar. Well, let's talk about this. Tom Seaver, uh, this is 1971, and then two, 1970. So you got two 1970 Tom Seavers, one um, in especially good condition, really strong edges and all that kind of stuff. You got two 1970s and one 1971 in this Tom Seaver lot. And then we're going to get into some slabs. I don't know if uh, my boy John's here. We got some San Francisco giant slabs coming up. Coming up real quick. Um, cool. Tom's confirming that it showed up uh, scanned. That's great. That's great. Great to hear it. Um, what do we got here? We got a winner, Tom, bringing home the Toms. Congrats. Building a nice little stack today, Tom. All right. This is our first set of slabs. Now, this one, uh, this auction will be for both of these slabs. Really cool cards. Um, this is a 1970 Willie Mays. 
uh, graded an FCG six. And you know that FCG is a really, really tough grader. So a six is strong, especially, I mean, geez, think about all those cards in the seventies and how you always see how bad the centering is. This is a nine centering. How about that? The second card is a 1969 Willie McCovey. Uh, 60, which is the old one, uh, 0 to 100 scale from SGC. Willie McCovey, Willie Mays, couple of Willies, couple of San Francisco guys. Uh, a 60 in the SGC and, and a 60, roughly the same uh, kind of grade there. Um, just really cool cards. Love that Willie Mays. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let's get things heated up a little bit here. We got a Reggie. Slab moving on deck. John, John, just in time. We've got a Mays and McCovey for you, bud. I was just talking about you. Uh, 1970 Willie Mays 60 and a Willie McCovey 60 uh, in the SGC. Just picked these up at a local show. Uh, we picked up the McCovey. Um, good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, Reggie Jackson moving into the on deck circle. Uh, and then we're going back to some raw. I got some Raleigh fingers coming up. I have a Red Sox lot. I have a Cardinals lot. I know that uh, one of our new friends said, go Cubs. Sorry, not a Cubs lot, but uh, good to know. I do have some Ernie Banks. It's not ready for sale today, but uh, to our new Cubs fan friend, be on the lookout for our next vintage sale. Uh, we'll certainly have some Ernie Banks for you uh, for you then. Last work day of the year. That's got to feel real good. That's got to feel real good. Jeez, I should schedule some uh, some breaks for next week, huh? Should get some stuff on the calendar. We got a ton of boxes coming in today. Uh, we're gonna do another nomination auction uh, rip and auction next week, where we uh, basically I rip a pile of boxes. People say, "Hey, I like that card." And then the next day, we put that card up for auction at one of these formats. You know, the one dollar no reserve. 60 you know 30 to 60 seconds uh deal so we'll, we'll have to run one or two of those next week got some really great boxes zane is in the house ryan's in the house blake's in the house welcome everybody if you participated i said this earlier but if you participated in our sale last night everything has shipped everything's on the way as john brings home the maze and mccovey there you go john congrats on that um, okay, moving into this Reggie Jackson. This is a six. This is a six. This is a really, really nice card. Um, I was running those comps just now, just earlier, and as we start the auction here. Let me, let me bring that back up. Reggie Jackson, this is the Tops 260 rookie card. Um, uh, 1969 Tops 260 rookie card for Reggie Jackson. It's a 6-0 overall. Seven centering, six edges, five five corners, and a six surface. Um, and let's see where we we pull those comps really quick. Um, phew. A um, on December fifth, a, a seven went for a thousand bucks. That seems like an outlier. A, a four went for two hundred. A three went for two hundred seven. Uh, Let's see. Wait, this is a six again, just as a reminder. A five went for 350. They're a little all over the place, but this goes for a couple hundred bucks. Um, good opportunity if you guys are just looking, even just for a quick flip. Hey, come in here, take advantage of these of these quick auctions. If you can get a good price on these, throw it up on eBay. I will not be offended. That is totally fine by me. You do you. You own the card. There's a PSA 3.5 that went for 160. A uh just an authentic for 150. Again, this is a 6.0. Um, yeah. Really great card. Really great card. Get this a little closer on camera. Reggie Jackson, rookie card, 1969, tops 260. 6.0. 6.0. There we go. And it looks like we're about to hand out a pretty monster deal. This goes for a couple hundred bucks. And uh, we're pretty squarely under 100. So, hey, it's the holiday season. Giving, feeling uh, <laughs> feeling generous. Raleigh Fingers moves on deck. Then we've got a Red Sox lot and a Cardinals lot. And then we're going to try out, we're going to test the waters for some real vintage, some like 100 plus year old cards. That'll be fun. Lyle's just home from work. Hey, welcome to the party. 
This is where we kick off a couple days off. Kick it off with the add into your add into your stacks, add into your baseball card uh, collection here with some really cool, really really cool vintage. Um, Tom, uh, I'm not sure if you see it here. I wanted to bring to your attention the Nolan Ryan that's over here in the corner. We also have a Hank Aaron coming. Um, Everett Scott, 1919 Babe Ruth. Ever heard of him? <laughs> um, and uh, since I see a couple people just joined, all cards ship free. Uh, authenticity guarantee. Lyle's asking about the soda that we auctioned off last night. Last night, we auctioned off a one of one super fractor, one soda. Uh, from a Topps Chrome Black box, uh, one that we ripped this week. Very cool. My my second time only, uh, my second time ever pulling a one of one myself. Certainly, first time pulling a nice name like Juan Soto. Um, we put that up. Same format. It's what we do here. A one dollar, no uh, no uh, reserve. 60, 30 to sixty second auction. Uh, that Juan Soto went for seven ten last night, uh, which is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it went pretty squarely down the middle for what people consider for comps. Um, we had a couple of people predicting like a $500 sale. A couple other people said, Hey, you know, super fractor one sodas from this year went from 800 to thousand dollars. Hey, we kind of split it right down the middle there. Seven ten. feel good about it. And, uh, got that going to Garrett family. Um, pretty good, pretty freaking good. And, and also like really loved, uh, the Garrett family, I'm saying the Garrett family because his boys were there doing the auction with him. They attended the home run derby uh, last summer and caught a Soto ball. So they, they're all in on one Soto. Just really cool. Nice story. Um, uh, love uh, sending cars to places where they're really going to be appreciated and loved. Um, and we're moving through this Reggie Jackson. Again, on, on deck, we got some raw Raleigh a raw Red Sox lot with some Yaz and Bill Lee. Then we've got some uh, Cardinals coming up. Steve Carlton, Lou Brock, some names you love to hear. And then we're going to try two super vintage 1919 uh, uh, cards, hand cut cards. Very cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're ready for whatever it is that you're celebrating the next couple of days. Could be Christmas, could not be Christmas. Maybe you're doing it on your own. Maybe uh, maybe you got a big party. Maybe uh, maybe you're doing uh, maybe doing your own thing. Uh, either way, appreciate you taking the time to spend your Thursday afternoon with me. I appreciate you. I uh, opted out of traveling. Uh, this uh, this time around, hanging out here, hanging out here in San Francisco, uh, rainy San Francisco the last couple of days. Ace Money's asking if we've got any mantle today. Uh, no, no mantle today, but we do have mantle coming in. So the next vintage baseball sale that we've got going, that's going to be the anchor. We got two or three coming in the mail in the next couple of days. And yeah, we do have a Ruth. Uh, we've got this one. If you've got, if you're on full screen here, you got this uh, Babe Ruth here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card, an SGC 2.5. Uh, we'll be wrapping up with that as Raju wins the Reggie. Congrats, congrats, congrats! All right, a couple of quick raw lots. Let's do this um, Raleigh Fingers lot. This is a 1971 and a 1974. Uh, just two quick Raleigh Fingers lots. I love this one. You got the full mustache going. You know I'm a mustache guy. Game, res respect game, game, recognize game. Again, those classic A's uniforms. Then we've got a Red Sox lot coming out on deck with some Bill Lee and Carl Yastrzemski and then Lou Brock and Steve Carlton. Before we get into some real old stuff, some real old 1919 kind of older stuff. Um, the Ruth is a 1961. Congrats, Joe, on the rally lot. Um, yeah, Tom's saying I'm, I'm opting out of the 13-hour drive. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. 13-hour drive. Oof. Okay, quick Red Sox lot, and then I'll get back to the chat and the questions there. This uh, Carl Yastrzemski is a 1974, and then we have a 1970. And then we have two 1970 Bill Lees. So 1974 Carl Yastrzemski, awesome pose. I love this pose. Uh, like he's about to take out the camera. Uh, 1970 
Yastrzemski and then two 1970 Bill Lee. It's a nice little Red Sox lot. And then we're doing Carlton and Brock. And then we got some 1919 uh, slabs coming up. Um, oh, no. We got a lot of things to return or reply to in this chat. Adam's asking about the Red Ruth from a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that has gone into uh, the graded. Uh, that is, for obvious reasons, just one that I want to make sure is authentic and good and get it slabbed and all that kind of thing um, before we uh, run it out here. And so that will be back, I think, in time for our next vintage auction. As I start this Cardinal, Cardinals lot, we have a Lou Brock 1970. Cool pose up there. He's just hanging out during batting practice. And then we got the Steve Carlton. What year is the Carl Carlton? Is 1969. Steve Carlton, 1969. Lou Brock, 1970. And then we're going, we're hitting the DeLorean. We're going way back past 1955, past everything. We're going back to 1919 for the next couple. Um, so yeah, the Ruth is in getting graded. Tom just shaved his mustache. That is a damn shame. Says the girlfriend was not a fan. Your girlfriend um, has got to get uh, tuned in, man. I think the mustache is going to be, is it making a comeback? I think it's the facial hair of the decade. Just like how beards really came back last year. Everyone had a beard all of a sudden. I think it's the mustache. Lyle says he met Raleigh Fingers in Cooperstown when he was 15. Still kicking myself for not getting an autograph. Oh, man. Tough. Tough. Um, all right. Congrats on the Cardinals lot. Now, let's talk about these. These are both from the same set. Okay. The first one, they're, they're being uh, auctioned um, separately. Buck Herzog. Hey, Cubs. Who's the Cubs guy? Um, Buck Herzog, 1919 to 1921. They're not totally sure when exactly these are, are from, um, but they were uh, found in like grocery stores and things like that. Um, it's called a W514104. Buck Herzog, third base for the Chicago Cubs, Cubs NL. <laughs> um, let's get the auction started. And I'm going to give you a quicker or a closer look at this. So SGC authentic, um, hand cut. I wanted, this is like a little detail, but I really like, it says like Chicago Cubs and they put the Cubs in quotes, just kind of like old timey, just kind of cool. Um, so again, Buck Herzog, third base, Chicago Cubs, NL, that's numbered 104. A little hand drawing, a little hand drawing. Not really sure what I would look like if I were drawn like that, but I don't think it would be very flattering. <laughs> Anyway, it's from 1919, between 1919 and 1921. So it's hundred years old, nothing there on the back. Uh, and these, as I understand, are from like grocery stores. They've clipped them out um, and, uh, and whatever. So look, I'm not a huge vintage baseball guy, um, but I'm getting more and more into it. And just the idea of owning something that's a hundred years old, man, you cannot go wrong with that. Protect this thing at all costs, just stash this in your box. Go tell your kids, go tell your grandkids, like, look at this thing. It's 150 years old or whatever, <laughs> you know, um, really, really cool. The guy that we've got on the, on the, uh, coming up is uh, a player for the Brooklyn Robins before the Dodgers. Um, so if you're looking to just buy like a cool little, if you're buying based on the team, cause Buck Herzog, not exactly Babe Ruth or anything like that, but if you're buying based on the team, really slick Cubs pickup. Just like Cubs pick up. Um, hand cut, of course. Um, as many of these are, you'll see uh, you'll see more and more of that uh, coming up. Christine Z is in the house. Christine, did you listen to Flagship Podcast? Did you do it? You had a homework assignment last night. Congrats, John. Awesome pickup. Really cool. Buck Herzog, 100 year old card. Let's do it again. This one's, um, as I said, uh just a minute ago as i start the auction dan grenier pitcher for the brooklyn robins pretty cool um right here another hand cut uh deal it is 1919 to 1921 another w514 same thing this card is numbered uh 80 80 out of the set i believe the set had 150 uh cards in it um, SGC authentic hand cut again, Brooklyn Robbins, hundred year old, hundred year old card. 
I'm not feeling the love with one bid for a dollar. Ooh, guys. The chance to own something that's 100 years old doesn't come around a whole lot. Doesn't come around a whole lot. Um, Christine, um, it is, uh, it's, it's already up. It's not my podcast. I mean, the flagship baseball podcast, it came out Monday. So if you search flagship baseball podcast, go ahead, give that a listen. I've got an interview in there. I, I was, it's not my podcast. Um, but then you are shouted out at the very end. You got to, you got to listen at the end there. You got to hear it. <laughs> uh, Christine, you specifically are in, are in the podcast. So um, give it a listen. Um, all right. We are coming up on this in the last 10 seconds on this Dan Grenier, Brooklyn Robbins, NL Robbins in quotes, cute little touch pitcher, Dan Grenier. Cool. Uh, cool drawing here. I like the cap. I don't know this whole thing. The background <laughs> looks like they're out in the forest when they're taking, when they're, uh, when they're doing this drawing. All right. Hey, Raju, not every day you buy something that's a hundred years old, confirmed authentic for 18 bucks. Wow. Woo. We're handing out deals. Now we started this with a little 1990s lot. I'm going to throw up another one. Um, really great grab. Um, and I'll tell you what's in here. We've got Robin Ventura, number one draft pick, future star, Gary Sheffield, future hall of famer. I think Gary Sheffield. Jay Buhner, All-Star Rookie Cup. Tom Glavin. Uh, Tom Glavin card there. What year is that? 1989. Uh, 89. Craig Biggio. Rookie card, Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer. Juan Gon, Juan Gonzalez and Todd Helton draft pick. Just some fun names from the 90s. Nothing, nothing major. Um, there's seven of them. There are seven of them. So again, Ventura, Gary Sheffield, Jay Buhner, Tom Glavin, Craig Biggio, Juan Gonzalez, and Todd Helton. Just fun, fun, fun cards. That is our live auction right now. What do we got coming up? Ah, yeah. We've got a nice lot of um, rookies from 1973. And then we're going to get into kind of the, the tail end here, guys uh, and gals, as uh, Blaine brings home the 90s lot. Congrats, Blaine. Just a nice little pickup. This is cool. Um, then we're going to get again. Okay. So we're going to do this 1973 rookies lot that I'll get to in a second. Then we're going to finish by doing another, uh, 1919 card. Actually, we got, th we have three more. If there's appetite for it, there's three more. We have a Hank Aaron and Nolan Ryan, a Babe Ruth. And then that's going to be it. Quick little vintage sale for us here, uh, here today. So let's talk about this 1973 rookies lot. This is a, a seven card lot. And uh, one of these deals, 1973 rookie pitchers. You got Norm Angelini, Steve Blatterick, Mike Garman. You have two of those. Then you get into the 1973 rookie outfielders, Rich Coggins, Jim Wolford, and Richie Zisk, Pirate, uh, Orioles, Royals, Pirates. This one is more pitchers, different set of pitchers, though. Jimmy Freeman, Charlie ha uh, ha Hugh, Hank Webb, excuse me, Larvell Blanks, Pedro Garcia, Dave Lopez. Second baseman, more pitchers, Steve Busby, Colapert, and Medich. First baseman, Enos Cabell, Pat Bork, Gonzalo Marquez. Nobody bid. All right. We're going to let that rip. Um, what do we want to do? What does the chat think? We've got uh, we've got a couple of things here. We've got Hank Aaron, Nolan Ryan. We've got a we've got a handful of these uh, W514s, these 100 year old cards. Um, are you interested in the hundred year old cards? Oh, the bid button went away. I guess Matt's here for the Hank. So should we run the, um, run the Hank? A little concerned. The bid button disappeared. <laughs> let's, um, let's see if I start a new auction, if it shows up, um, I'm going to start. Um, all right, let's do the Hank Aaron. Let's do Hank Aaron. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing there's a lot of excitement for the 1919 cards. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, maybe hold off on those unless the chat changes their mind. Here's the Hank Aaron. Um, yeah. All right. I'll do another 1919. This is a 1969 tops 100 Hank Aaron rookie card. It is graded SGC four. 
Beautiful, beautiful card, iconic card. This is one that I've gotten my uh, my forever box. Got one of those. Uh, one of the questions about the 1919 cards, what are the teams? We have a Pittsburgh Pirates guy, a Tigers guy, and a Red Sox guy. So we've got a couple. Got a couple of them. But right now, it is Hank Aaron's time to shine. Then, so I'm taking requests. If any of those jump out to you, Tigers, Pirates, Red Sox, I'm all yours. This Aaron is the 1969. It is his rookie card. It is his rookie card. Right there. Get a good look at that. 1969 Tops 100, Hank Aaron, SGC. Uh, for, oh, I'm sorry. It is not his rookie card. I'm so sorry. It is not his rookie card. I misspoke. Sorry. I'm getting a little crossed here because I was looking at the Nolan Ryan. I'm already thinking about the Nolan Ryan. Um, yeah. <laughs> his rookie year was 1954, so it is not his rookie card. <laughs> um, 1969 Tops, Hank Aaron. Uh, just a really fun, uh, cool card. Uh, that uh, the design is iconic. The card is, you know, uh, just one of those that people really love, love, love to have stashed. Excuse me. <laughs> Did not mean to misspeak. Uh, certainly not my thing. I was just, I was already, I was crossing my wires. I was looking at the Nolan Ryan, thinking about when we're going to run that Nolan Ryan. We also have a Babe Ruth. I think we're going to close with the Babe Ruth. I think we're going to close with the Babe Ruth. We'll pick one of these 1919s to run now. Then I think we'll go Nolan Ryan. Then we've got these cool coins. I got to talk to you about the coins, and then uh, close with Babe Ruth, and that'll be that'll be our thing. If you're into football cards, later today, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, come on back. Terrell Owens gave me a bunch of autographed stuff to to uh, raffle off. Um, we've got a pick your team uh, hobby box that we're going to be breaking, and we've got some vintage. We've got some really cool vintage, including a Tom Brady auto which we're now calling quote unquote vintage uh, guy's going to play long enough to uh, have his stuff part of the vintage auction. I don't know. All right. Um, any preference on the next one? We're talking about this 1919, these 1919 cards, tigers, pirates, red Sox, any preference on uh, which one we roll with all PSA, the kind of classic, classic PSA. I'm hearing one vote for red Sox. That's what I would go with too. Um, as we're coming up on the Hank Aaron, I didn't run a comp on this Hank Aaron top 100 four zero. get that into eBay, huh? Probably not going to be able to pull this up in time. Some of you probably have done this, probably have probably run this comp, um, and you're bidding accordingly. I don't like to influence the, uh, the auction. I don't like to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Comps for a four here are um, looking like one just sold for uh, $80, uh, a couple around a hundred. So, Hey, good deal. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Comps are all over the place. Good deal for Jordan. 59 bucks for the Hank Aaron. Congrats on that. Um, I think we're going to go with Everett Scott. Um, then we're going to go with Nolan Ryan. Okay, so here's the deal with Everett Scott. Again, this is from 1919 to 1921. It's with a W514 um, uh, uh, run. The card number is 90. It's a PSA slab graded at 1.5, hand cut. Everett Scott... Let's try to get a good look at this. Everett Scott, infielder for the Boston quote unquote Red Sox in the American League. Just a really cool card. Um, again, not every day that you get the chance to buy something that's 100 years old. And here we go. I put it up for a buck. And Tom's currently, no, Kubvik's are currently winning at eight. Tom's currently winning at nine. Got a little thing going there. Nolan Ryan uh, moving into the on deck circle. We got some cool coins coming up in the hole and then we're going to close out with some babe ruth and then i got to go brush up on my football it's going to be my first ever football broadcast so tune in for that a little nervous about it a little nervous about it i'm a big football fan but just don't you know don't uh, don't get into the football cards much but when to calls uh you gotta you gotta say hey okay 
Mike brings home that Everett Scott. Zane, I hear you. I'm going to talk to you about the Johnny bench. No Johnny, uh, no Johnny bench today, but I'm going to talk to you about it. Um, here is Nolan Ryan. This is a graded Nolan Ryan, his first solo rookie card. There's a, there's a, uh, an earlier version that has um, that he shares with another person, but this is his first uh, solo rookie card. It's graded a five. Uh, centering is eight point five. Corners are five five. Surfaces a four, and the edges are six. Um, really, just awesome looking card. I love this. This pose. What is this pose? This is supposed to be him in his in his follow through. He's finished pitching. He's he's in his follow through, but the ball's in his glove. What's up with that? There's no one in the stands. Trust me, Nolan Ryan pitched people. We're in the stands for sure. It's funky image, funky image. Cool card. This is one that is in my forever box. You can count on that. Um, okay. Looks like we're making moves. Um, again, everything ships free authenticity guarantee. Um, uh, we're going to get these packed up today and out, I think on the 26th. So you'll be seeing them next week. Yeah, Kuzman is the other player on us, 1968. Yeah, this is the 1969, uh, 533, um, uh, to be clear. Um, I've bought a bunch of these raw, and uh, usually raw I'm paying like 200-ish, maybe, maybe, you know, whatever, 175, 200. Um, this is a really, you know, like we talked about earlier, the cards in the 60s and 70s, the centering is always all over the place. 8.5 centering. That's dang good for a card from this uh, from this era. Yeah, Ryan picked up on what I was what I was getting to. <laughs> um, it's exceptional centering. And FCG is a tough grader. I, I, I bet if you push this uh, to SGC or, or another place, if you really wanted to, uh, you could re-slab. Maybe, maybe you got a six even on this. Um uh, I just think that FCG is extremely particular on uh, things like surface and that sort of thing. You get get away with a little more with some of the other graders. Um, so we're going to do this Nolan Ryan. Then we're getting to the coins, which are going to be a doozy to walk through, um, but really fun. And then we're going to close with Babe Ruth. And then I got to go get prop for this football stream at 6 p.m. Pacific. Hope you'll join me for that. Uh, really don't know uh, if any of you collect football. I, you know, I don't really i have a couple but um as con jelly brings home the nolan ryan sick pickup below raw comps how about that pretty good pretty good good for you um okay i'm gonna make this a slightly longer auction i'm gonna make this one minute because i have to go through all the different names i gotta show you all of these coins but before we do that these coins were um 1971 um each of them there are 153 total here's here's 30 of them Okay. First FCG slab. Nice. Or uh, F yeah, FCG slab. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it featured the uh, team name, position, player, photo, other side, kind of just like the baseball card. Um, there's a number, Jim Rooker, height, weight, throws, little blurb printed in the USA. It's cool little coins. Um, there are 30 of them in this auction. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to read off the names. I'm going to make this a one minute auction. Here we go. So we talked about Jim Rooker. How am I going to do this? All right. Frank Howard with the uh, Senators. We've got Felipe Alou with the A's. Cool. Bill Mazarowski with the Pirates. Uh, Veda Pinson with the Indians. Dave McNally with the Orioles, uh, Don Wilson with the Astros, Matty Alou with the Pirates, Carl Morton with the Expos, man, love this, Al Ferreira with the Padres, <laughs> under the gun here, only one bid, come on guys, Carly Ostremski with the Red Sox, Dick Dietz with the Giants, uh, Danny Cater with the Yankees, Joe Torre with the Cardinals. Cardinals catcher Joe Torrey, Bob Oliver with the Royals, um, uh, Dave McNally, Lou Kraus, Kraus with, uh, the, uh, with the Brewers, Clarence Gaston with the Padres, Roy White with the Yankees, Lee May with the Reds, and then the last 10, <laughs> John Bateman with the Expos. This is impossible. Jim Spencer with the Angels, Rick Monday with the A's. Uh, Felix uh, Milan with the Braves, 
and the auction's over. But Don Money, Phillies, Phil Necro with the Braves, Ed Brinkman with the Senators, Sandy Alomar with the Angels, uh, Julian Javier with the Cardinals, and hey, Kusman, we just brought him up. Kusman with the uh, with the Mets. I got a feeling that Tom is going to dig having those. Congrats on that. We do have more 1919. We have two more 1919. Are you interested in? We've got um, we have Oscar uh, Stange, a catcher from the Tigers, and we have John Milhus Mil Milgis with the uh, Pirates um, of the National League. And we have this Babe Ruth to go to too. One second, I gotta put these coins in a way that they're gonna okay, not spread out everywhere. Um. Yeah, the coins are cool. All right, let's run the Tigers uh, stage, and then we'll do the Babe Ruth. Okay, and then we will we will wrap it up. Let's do it again. You've heard me say this already a billion times. 1919 to 1920, or yeah, to 1921. W five one four grocery cut grocery store thing. Cut these out, hand cut. Oscar Stange, cat catcher. Uh, Detroit quote unquote Tigers American League. PSA authentic. The card number is 115. Tom, that's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Uh, that came from uh, this um, consignment that I that I brought in. Um, and the guy was like, yeah, I got all these cards. Yada, yada, yada. I'm talking to him about the cards. He goes, I also have these coins. And I was like, I don't know if I have people who have an appetite for these coins, but I'm stoked to hear that you were trying to bring them in. So here we go. 100 year old card currently going for 10 bucks. And it sold to Evan. Evan, congrats on that. Um, what a pickup. 100-year-old card for 10 bucks Shipped. How about that? All right. Here's a Babe Ruth. Uh, let's get this going. And then we're going we're gonna to wrap up the vintage sale. 1961 Fleer, number 75, SGC 2.5 on uh, the Babe Ruth. Um Really cool looking card. This is a Fleer, uh, set, Fleer 75. The back, baseball greats, George Herman Ruth, the, 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 the king of SWAT. That is a sultan, but hey. All right, king, sultan, all the same. Uh, 1961 Fleer 75, Babe Ruth, SGC 2.5. Cool looking card. Yankees hat right there. The great Bambino. The Colossus of Clout. <laughs> um, this is what we're going to wrap with. Fun little, fun little vintage uh, sale. Thank you guys for so much for for showing up and uh, and working through. Christine, if you're still here, listen to the flagship podcast. I cannot stress that enough. Flagship baseball podcast. Give it, give that a listen. Um, and if you're into football at all tonight, six p.m. Pacific, please show up. I don't know if any of my followers even collect football. I don't even know. I might be broadcasting just to myself, my dog. Who knows? Uh, but we got some really good Torello and stuff to give away. We got a pick your team auction. We're going to pull some heat. We're going to pull some Mac Jones and whatever else we're looking for. Um, and uh, then next week, we're doing nomination auction again. So we're going to pull. We got Topps Chrome Black. We got Bowman Inception. We have all the great recent releases. We're going to rip them all and then put those cards up for a buck, uh, each of them. So um we're gonna have some real fun with the nomination auction next week probably do the rip on monday and the auction on tuesday uh we'll probably stick to the evening hours but i'll let you know i'll let you know uh if you don't follow me on drip follow me on drip follow me on twitter too drew cards underscore uh and that's how you're gonna find out about all the different things that we have planned and things that are coming up um uh yeah yeah that's what's cooking as we come down to the wire here on the Babe Ruth. Love this. Good action on this. Uh, Roger, you're building quite the stack here. I was just kind of taking a look at the orders. Uh, some, some real good deals were handed out here today. Uh, should be stoked on them. They're all going to get out on the 26th. So you should see them before the new year. Uh, USPS should be starting to catch up a little bit. Of course, they're probably backlogged a little. But uh, hopefully that's cleared out will be part of it um this tom brady will not be part of the auction later tonight but it'll be present it'll be there it'll be watching you want to hang out with me and uh, me and tom brady 
Terrell Owens will be in the house. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. When they approach me, I go, yeah, what am I going to talk about with T.O.? You know? What do I have to talk to him about? Except for that Super Bowl where he was a monster on one leg against the Patriots. Congrats, Adam. Awesome Babe Ruth pickup. Congrats on that. All right, everybody. Appreciate you coming and hanging out. Appreciate you coming out for the vintage. We're going to do it again. We're going to do another vintage sale um, maybe next week even. Sounds like a lot of people are off work, so why not? Let's just crank on the uh, on the schedule. I'll work while you guys are not working and we can, uh, we'll have a, we'll have a couple beers. We'll do some auctions. We'll do whatever. It'd be a good time. Thank you again, everybody for coming and hanging out. Really appreciate you. Come hang out later, 6 PM Pacific for football. And, uh, and if not, hope I catch you next week on the nomination uh, streams. Thanks again. We'll talk soon.